Normally, interview process consists of three sets of evaluation. One is written test, second one is group discussion, and last one is interview. In this, you are going to see way to success in interview. First one is why an interview? What is the need for an interview? So, what are the quality they will stress in interview? First one is your communication skill. Second one is in what way you are communicating? Your style of English, fluent in speaking. Next one is your knowledge. Whether it may be a technical knowledge or it may be a general knowledge. Last one is your attitude. How you are behaving in the interview. How you are answering the questions. Your positive thinking. See everything they will test at the time of interview. What is the reason for rejecting a candidate? The candidate should not have a spark. The interviewer, by seeing the candidate, they will doesn't have a positive mindset. The candidate is too slow. They will not listen or they will not think. They look too casual. They are too confused and unclear. Couldn't he express himself. Lack of interest and energy. Negative attitude. Lack of career plan. Poor in knowledge. Lack of courtesy and manners. Very aggressive. So they doesn't have any eye contact. Poor in physical appearance. These are the sum of the reason a candidate is rejected in an interview. If you overcome these problems, definitely you can success in an interview. On the day of interview, so what are the preparation you have to make? First one is dress well. Take more than one copy of resume. Reach early to the interview place. Sequence your documents similar to your biodata. Don't miss the food. Positive approach in answering the questions. Prepare very well for the interview. Similarly, know the company very well. That is very important. Exhibit good body language. Either your facial expression, movement of hands, movement of head, your body posture, eye contact. Everything must be good. Show positive attitude. Walk smartly but modestly from the entrance to the table. While reaching the table, bow down. That means down the head with a smile say good morning. Wait till the interviewer asks to sit. Maintain moderate eye contact with the panel members. Don't move the hand as well as the head aimlessly. The body language will reflect what you speak. That is very important. Do not do anything destructive. Don't place your hand over the table. Do not land back to the chair. When the interviewer asks to sit, you sit straight and occupying the entire seat. That is very important. Answering the question clearly with moderate voice you answer. Don't be shout. Your voice will not be too slow. With the moderate voice you have to answer clearly. Suppose if you are not knowing the answer for the question, don't say I don't know. You say sorry, I will try to learn the answer for this question. Like that you answer. When the interview is over, stand and bow down and thank them before leaving. These are the things you have to do at the time of interview. So in the interview, when the interview is over, the panel member asked, do you have any questions? At that time, don't ask the questions. That will create a negative image about you. So which are the questions you couldn't ask at the time of interview? The first one is, do you have any other job available in your company? How soon can I transfer to another role? Can you tell me about the best way, either bus or train, to reach the office from my residence? Can you tell me something about your company? Will you do a reference check? What is your leave policy? Do you work on Saturday? So these are the questions if you ask that will create a negative image about you 
So don't ask this set of the question. So which are the questions you can ask? The questions that will create a positive impression about you. That type of question you can ask. So what are the questions? When is the joining date? How long the training period? Whether I have to gain any skills before joining in our organization? What are the career opportunities in your company? When you ask these sort of the questions, that will create a positive impression about you. So you can ask these sort of the question at the time of interview. So which are the questions frequently asked in the interview? So the frequently asked the general questions, not technical questions. Tell me about yourself. What is your long range and short range goal? Do you want to be doing 5 or 10 years from now? How do you feel that you can contribute to this job? What are your hobbies? So when they ask you about your hobbies, don't tell the hobbies, conventional hobbies. That means gardening, watching TV, hearing music. So don't tell these sort of hobbies. These are very conventional and old hobbies. You can be able to tell some of the hobbies like this. That is, when I am free, I will teach mathematics to the students near to my house. Or, when I am free, I will go to the orphanage nearer to my house. I will help the old age people in that orphanage. If you are able to tell the hobbies like this, it will have more attraction. Next, what are your strength? What are your weakness? What are your big accomplishment? What are your special abilities? What is your career goals? Why should we hire you? In this question you have to tell about your positives, your strength, your qualities. Next, what do you know about our company? Why are you applying for a job with us? What salary you expect? I have interviewed others for this job. Why should I give you the job? Would you be willing to take an aptitude test? Can you handle criticism? How do you deal with it? For this question, when the criticism comes, I will take it as positive. So I will not take it as negative. So I will take this as a positive and I will improve myself. So like this you can answer for this question. Then can you tell me anything about yourself that you think I might want to know? What is the lowest salary you could accept? Do you have any questions? These are some of the general questions asked at the time of interview. If you prepare answer for this question, definitely you can perform well if they ask these sort of questions. Next, self-introduction. How to introduce yourself? First one is spell your name clearly. Place your coming. Then tell them about your qualification including the institution you studied. Any certificate course you completed or additional qualification. Awards, trophies, distinction won by you for academic excellence if any. Your strength and hobbies. Very short about the family particulars. So you have to prepare a self introduction based on this and you have to present to the interviewer. In most of the interview, first question is introduce yourself. If you introduce in a very good manner, that will create a positive attitude so that you can success in interview. Next one is short term goal. Sometimes they will ask, what is your short term goal? You can tell to get a job in a reputed company like your organization. Then what is your long term goal? To become a CEO for a company. Next strength. What is your strength? I am a good communicator, good listener, good in problem solving technique, hard worker, have a positive attitude, taking up any challenge. Suppose they will ask, how you are saying you are hard worker? You can tell your CGP, if you are very good CGPA, I worked a lot, then only I got this much CGPA, that's what I am saying, hard worker. Like that you have to answer. Sometimes they will ask, how you are saying that you are a good communicator? For this, what is the answer for this? You can tell, most of the program organized in our institution, I am doing MOC. That's why I am saying I am a good communicator. Like that, you must have a justification for your strength. This is very important. Then your weakness. Don't tell the weakness that will create a negative attitude about yourself. So you tell your weakness that will create a positive attitude. So what are the questions, what are the weakness you can tell? 
quick decision taker without analyzing straight forward in most of every issues never tolerate unethical work best in my work i also expect the same from others when you say these sort of the weakness so that will create a positive attitude about yourself so you tell these sort of the weakness if they ask what is your weakness in the interview then what are the expectation of hr so normally interviews of two types one is a technical interview other one is a hr interview so the hr people what they will expect from you one is sincerity and honesty in answer attentiveness in listening to the questions body language hr posture eye contact and confidence level stress handling capability positive approach in answering the questions exhibition of skills accomplishment and talent enthusiasm and motivational level command over communication skill willingness and positive approach exhibition of talents and accomplishment next one is a technical interview so i already told that there are two types of interview one is a hr interview other one is a technical interview sometimes they will ask they will conduct the interview separately sometimes they will conduct in a single panel in the technical interview so you must thorough with the basics of your subjects they will not the advanced thing they will ask the basic questions that is one thing second one is sometimes they will ask what is your interest area suppose they are asking one or two questions you are not able to answer the question definitely at the next question is what is your interested subject so in the technical interview you must thorough with any one of the subject you are master with any one of the subject suppose they ask what is your interested subject you can tell that subject suppose they ask question from that you can able to answer this for technical interview right you must prepare the basics of your engineer subjects in engineering field as well as you have to prepare a subject of your interest thoroughly if you do or if you prepare so what i am explained so far definitely you can success in an interview thank you